When we talk about the stressor and drums, we need to spank this. So let's make it toasty. I've been waiting for this day for a long time now. I couldn't say anything for months while I was using them. And it was so hard because I was so excited. These two things are a mix engineer wet dream. Two of my absolute favorite companies, Softube, masters of analog modeling and Empirical Labs, masters of, well, analog. Joined forces and they came out with Little Frequency and Mikey Comp. Two amazing, amazing plugins. And I'm even happier that they picked Mixbus TV for this exclusive premiere for these two. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, discounts, and special offers. And of course, links to the two plugins that we are seeing today. And if you want to support the channel, but most important, access to the already big and always growing library of in-depth mix and mastering courses and videos here on YouTube, exclusive members only content, Click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mixbus TV member, which also includes mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. Let's get to the video. All right, let's jump right in. First of all, because I'm very excited about showing you these two absolute beast of plugins. I had them for weeks, months probably, can I say it? I guess at this point I can. I've been using them for my mixes. And as you know, I'm very familiar with Empirical Lab gear and they might be the best Empirical Lab gear emulation to date without the shadow of a doubt among the best. But we know this about Soft2 because of the previous emulation they did, the Chandler gear, all the channels for the console one, which I have here next to me. But there is a lot to say about these two plugins because even though everything is there clear on the GUIs, both have hidden functionalities and features that you need to know. First of all, these two plugins and almost all the soft tube plugins got a big update, which is resizable GUI. So you can make them as big as you want. And this includes the Chandler bundle, the vase bundle, which makes it so much better to work with. So both are resizable GUI. Let's start. Let's start with the Mikey preamp and compressor. This is, of course, the emulation of the EL9, which is a channel strip from Empirical Lab. We have a preamp and of course the comp set, which is the compression and saturation section, which is taken, of course, from the mighty distressor. But it had some added features, for example, the super long attack at 100 milliseconds, which is very useful. The preamp section is here, bottom left, and you have two arrows button to increase the gain and the saturation or run it completely clean because the original unit is a very very clean preamp but if you increase the gain you engage the color the soft clipping and soft saturation circuit in it and the comp set is what sets this unit apart from other preamps or processors like this the saturator is a multi-stage soft clipping so something we've been talking about here on the channel a lot a lower level it's a trial type saturation affect the signal as the level increases a second unit clip circuit starts to more severely flatten the peaks we can hear the preamp saturation circuit in action right away on drums i'm gonna put the gain all the way up so we can hear it to the extreme and i'm gonna put the ratio 101 so the comp set circuit is in but is not compressing okay so with and without Did you hear that? It sounded louder, didn't it? And fuller. But here's the trick. Without it, this drum is speaking a minus 10. With it, still peaking a minus 10. So we have this increase in perceived loudness and aggressiveness, and we are not losing snap at all is just more. And that's the effect of the saturation circuit, okay? That shaves off those peaks, but it does it also add in harmonics. So we don't lose anything, we actually gain something. And this is the magic of saturation I've been talking about for years, right? Once again, with or without, this is pretty impressive, to be honest. Uh, Arguably one of the best saturators out there right now. I'm just realizing it by listening to this, even though I've been using this. And of course, 
the saturation and the color also on how hot the signal is so you can drive it even harder if you want you can get away with a lot of clipping here before it starts to sound bad next to the preamp section we have the high pass filter this is a colored high pass filter at 80 hertz it simulates all the vintage eqs that we uh, like so with and without Okay, being a fixed frequency, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's probably very good on vocals and other sources like that. Then we have a phase invert button and then the drive comp knob for parallel compression on board. So let's go to the comp set to the compression section, which is taken from the Empirical Lab Distressor, one of the best compressors ever made, best seller and all that. But we have some added features. For example, three types of emphasis, HF2, high frequency emphasis two, low frequency emphasis and high frequency emphasis, which on the uh, Mikey E soften the high frequency buildup that you can have on tracks or groups. The ratio goes from bypass one, two, four, eight, and of course nuke. And another added feature that you don't find in the distressor is the super long attack at 100 milliseconds. Release is 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0.25, and 0.5. You also have an external side chain. So how this compressor sound? Well, it sounds pretty damn amazing. When we talk about distressor and drums, we need to spank this. So let's make it toasty. This compressor just sound <laughs> amazing. Um, I, as you know, again, I'm very familiar with the distressor. I have two here, I have two Fatso, so I know these things very well. And this is the first time that I feel like, yeah, I can replace in, you know, some places in my mixes when I run out of channels with the hardware with this one. Just listening to the quick example, that smack with the attack at 12 or 20, that is the sound of, you know, the distressor and the fats are like spot on with the added mix knob, which I'm not a fan on hardware compressor for some reason, I either compress or not. But on plugins, I'm so used to have it and look at what I'm doing now, a super fast attack, I'm smashing the drums and I just adding that little bit of squashed compressed signal into the dry and, and the room and just the sound of the drum comes alive. Very, very nice. I'm gonna crank the gain and see how it reacts with both circuit to the extreme. I'm gonna lower the input, the drive here. This is pretty incredible. Guys, I'm, compre <laughs> I'm compressing 20 dB right now. And granted, I'm in a uh, dry comp blend, but still, I don't think I can do this with any other plugin, to be honest, I can I remember. <laughs> so this is pretty impressive. Let's go back to full comp. I'm gonna back the gain to halfway here, and I'm gonna try Nuke, for example. Will you believe that I am actually at the same level <laughs> with and without compressor? This is crazy. That smack with the low attack, you just 
cam mistake. Let's try this, for example, on a bass. I'm gonna try the preamp first. The preamp alone just sounds so nice. Compression. And of course you hear how it changes as I switch between the three different emphasis circuits. can hear and you can see from the gain reduction meter how the compressor reacts differently when we cycle through the emphasis. What can I say? I was not expecting any less, but I'm still impressed and surprised because Empirical Lab Gear is among my favorite and to have at this point as many instances as I can. And I gotta be honest, I did not know, this is my fault 100%, that the Mikey had the compression part on it. And I run into this unit a million times, but you know, uh, for some reason, I actually, I was talking with the guys at Software, I was like, are you serious? How did I miss this? <laughs> this is pretty nice. And the combination with the color, the saturation of the preamp, it just makes it so much better. Let's try it on vocal, which is another of my favorite application, as you know, for the distressor. And I'm particularly curious to hear the super slow attack, something that we don't have on the distressor. So, Again, I'm gonna run the preamp halfway on the yellow, and I'm gonna start with the um, ratio of two, and let's hear how it sounds. This is the vocal without. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. I want to try to really push it with the slow attack and medium release and see how it sounds. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did. So stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste. It's pretty, pretty nice. I'm not used to hear such a slow attack on the distressor. So let me put it back, you know, where I usually use. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did. So stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste, now it's done. I'm out for self-healing, you ain't got that feeling. That is pretty impressive. And again, listen to the high frequency emphasis, the low frequency emphasis. I'm uh, moving those two while trying. It's, it's really nice. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did. So stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste, now it's done. I'm out for self-healing. You ain't got that feeling. And believe it or not, so many times I end up using a uh, the Nuke setting on vocals. I showed it in many of my mixing courses. So I'm just gonna uh, see how it reacts. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. 
But every little step just takes me further down I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found Yeah, it definitely keeps the dynamic in check It reacts like I would expect from the distressor You also have a pretty close color to it, I gotta say I kind of find this one, probably because of the action of the preamp, even more rich in the low mid saturation. You can hear it very well on this vocal. What else can I say? This is definitely a home run for Softube and Empirical Labs, of course. I absolutely love this plugin, but like I said, I had it for weeks, probably months at this point, and I use them all, this and the little frequency, which we are gonna see in a minute, for at least six or seven mixes. By sitting here and reanalyzing this one, with you guys right now in solo. I pick nuances that, of course, I don't even have the time to uh, pay attention to during a mix for a client. The good part about this plugin is, of course, that there is a console one version for it. And wait for the video on the console one. I'm gonna get it out soon. I'm gonna tell you everything about my experience with the console one, which at this point is fully integrated in my system and part of my mixes. And it wouldn't be that way if I didn't love it. But this is the good news. We have console one integration. I'm gonna try this on an acoustic guitar. I'm gonna open the console one interface. I have the SSL 4000 loaded. And as you can see here, if I click this, I can select the shape unit from the Empirical Lab track pack, the -er. We'll talk about this in a minute when we see the uh, EQ, the little lab, because that's one function for which the Empirical Lab Little Freak is very well known, is one of the best de in the analog world, and now we have it in plugin form. So by loading in the shape section of the Console One Empirical Lab Track Pack de -er, you have basically that section. We have the regular de -er with the threshold and the frequency. Now this is not level dependent. We're gonna talk about that in a minute when we see the Little Frequency uh, plugin, or you can engage the high frequency limiter, which is a high frequency dedicated type of compressor and limiter, probably the first one in the analog world back then. And that is instead level depending. Let me show you the differences really quick. Don't really look at the uh, gain reduction meter when you use the de-esser because it doesn't really reflect, but just listen to it. Okay, I'm of course exaggerating to show you that it doesn't really reflect in the, in the gain reduction meter. If engaging the HF limiter instead, it gives you this specific high frequency compressor. They have two different flavors. Maybe we'll try that on different material. The second thing is you can load your compressor and you can again select from the Mikey E compressor, the trackback compressor, and there you go. I'm trying to level match, but you can hear how more consistent the level of this acoustic guitar is. And again, there's not really artifact, that's that imprint that the distressor has, very characteristic. You, I might want to try 2.1 instead for this instrument, but you get the idea. You hear the lower notes, the lower strumming, how much lower they are without the compression, and I'm not even compressing that much. It's just this character that comes out. So we have full integration for console one, and of course, as well as for the EQ. You can see we can pick Empirical Lab Little Frequency and Track Pack, okay? They have uh, slight differences between the two. You will see it, but 
let's activate the EQ. Okay, and for the EQ, you can see on the console one version, you have the low band, which can be bell, cut, or shelf. Same for the high frequency, bell, cut, and shelf. And you have the two mid band, and you can set the Q, of course, the frequency, and the level. So you have full integration for console one. Let's talk about little frequency. This EQ, the analog version of this EQ, is one of the best equalizers ever made. I'm not joking. Uh, ask anyone who has one. First of all, is again one of the lowest noise on the market. The specs on these things are incredible and it's one of the most versatile analog EQ out there to date still. And the plugin is again the perfect replica of that unit, which is not your regular EQ. This is basically an eight section processing. Two shelving equalizers, special third order high pass section with eight selectable frequencies, four fully parametric bands, and one dynamic equalizer section. And the dynamic section, like we mentioned for the console one plugin, can be a regular de-esser or the high frequency limiter. So we have the two big distressor knob for input and output, the high pass in and out, our third order uh, high pass uh, with selectable frequencies from 30 to 330, which is very versatile. Our de-esser section here, which can be pre or post EQ. You can see now it says output next to the high frequency band. If I click here, we have high frequency and then the de-esser section, and then the output, all right? If I click again, you can see shelf, and then low frequencies, and then out. So in this case, is before. So that's genius. So you can decide if your EQ is going to affect or not your de-esser. We have the two shelves here, top and bottom. Then we have the low frequency fully parametric, low mid fully parametric, high mid fully parametric, and high frequency fully parametric. So this is an absolute beast of an EQ. Let's try a really quick on vocal. I know the season's ripe for change It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged They're tearing me down Where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? I'm alright As I pick up the pieces that are left in me I'm alright Being away from you and I'll be fine Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order But no, I will always have this too A little piece of you All right, you can see the de-esser working. I'm just doing slight moves because this uh, vocal doesn't need that much EQ, but you get the feeling. I know the season's ripe for change It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged They're tearing me down where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? I'm alright As I pick up the pieces that are left in me I'm alright Being away from you And I'll be fine Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order But no, I will always have this too A little piece of you it sounds really, really nice. And I'm exaggerating even the high end to make the de -esser work to show you how well these de -esser work. You know what? I'm going to try this on a full mix. You heard that low end, how focused and powerful it is, even on a finished mix. He has the punch of, you know, a very 
known uh, American equalizer without that mid-range color that sometimes you don't want. And this is really a workhorse kind of equalizer, not just an equalizer, but again, the de-esser portion, spend time with it because they've designed the, the HF limiter back then to almost act and react as a tape machine. So if you have material that has excess high end, this could become your go-to to try to tame that in a natural way. And again, if you look at, uh, at the fatso and the warm circuit on that, if you have a fatso, you know what I'm talking about. There's nothing like it. So the way Empirica Lab and Dave there uh, treat the, the high end and the problems that, you know, often digital recording uh, bring to the table is one of a kind. And soft to capture this very complicated design as well as the Mikey with the preamp and the saturation and compression part perfectly. So this is it for this exclusive premiere of the new Softube Empirical Lab Mikey E Comp and Preamp and Little Freak EQ. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and share. I'm very happy and proud of this joint venture between Mixbus TV Empirical Lab and Softube. It's always a pleasure to work with the best in the business. Big hug to Dave, Todd, Chris. Chris, my second EL FTC, please. Uh, thank you for watching. Follow Mixbus TV on Instagram, Facebook. We have a lot of giveaways and news and all that on those pages as well. Click the join button down here to become a member and access the exclusive in-depth mix and mastering videos and courses here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat Lift me up, up man, take control Heart is so 